United States are in front. Can Bolt now respond? Bailey with a massive lead. Lucien Bolt running hard down the straight, trying to reel him in. He's closing with every stride, but Bailey looks to have a big enough advantage. USA win it, Jamaica second. Sheesh. What a race that was, man. That was from the 2015 World Relays in NASA, Bahamas. You can tell the US team definitely enjoyed that victory. I mean, who wouldn't like getting the one up on Usain Bolt and Team Jamaica? Today, we're gonna take back a look at 2015 and how Bolt responded to this celebration by the US team. My name is Fixer Dunkley, Olympic medalist, and I'm happy to have you back here. If you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button. And while you're down there, just hit the like button. It will help the video a lot. Now let's take a look back in 2015 when the US 4x1 team beat Jamaica. Ryan Bailey definitely enjoyed beating both on this 4x1 anchor leg as he remembers what happened in 2012. Look, I don't blame him, but he was definitely going hard. I'm sure that Bolt was taking notes of all of this and he was ready to reply later that year. I think 2015 was one of the years where Bolt was genuinely doubted. He's coming to the tail end of a great career of one of the greatest runners to ever run the 100 and 200, but he's still got a lot left in him. At the same time, Justin Gatlin is having the year of his life. He's leading the 100 and the 200 with 9.74 and 19.57. And to be honest, he's one of the main reasons why that 4x1 team was able to beat Jamaica. His leg was exceptional. One of the best 4x1 legs I've ever seen. Usain Bolt just wasn't having a great year. He was battling injuries. And late in the season that year, he didn't even run 9 seconds. And his fastest 200 time, only 20.1. So a lot of people was wondering, will he take the title? Well, you know that popular saying, come at the time, come at the man. Or is it come at the hour, come at the man? You know what I mean. To be a champion, it's not all about winning in the good times. It's winning when you're doubted, winning when you're not the favorite. That's what shows that, look, you don't have to run a world record all the time to be the greatest, but people do expect you to win. When all the pressure is on you, that's when you have to show up. And I think that's what both proved to everybody in 2015. In the 100 meters, he was able to win a tight contested race in 9.79, a race that he was not expected to win, but hey, he's a competitor. He came back in the 200 to make himself the double champion with 19.55. Surprising the crowd, and I'm sure surprising Justin Gatlin, who took silver in both the 100 and 200. I think that was the year when Justin Gatlin had the most respect for both. I think he saw that he was a true competitor. Let's talk about the race that we're waiting for, the four by one men final. And you know what they say, the last laugh laughs best, I think. The Jamaican men 4x1 did everything they needed to do and it was finished up with a great anchor by Bolt. But unfortunately, the US team had some baton exchange problems, something that they're famous for. But earlier that year at the World Championship, after they had those clean exchanges, everybody was expecting a lot better, but they weren't able to do it when it was time. And that's the main point of this video, doing it when it's time. Yes, running fast during the season is very impressive, but doing it during the championship when all eyes are on you is when it counts. And that's one of the things that Usain Bolt is most famous for. It's not all the world records and it's not all the dancing, but it's definitely showing up when everybody expected him to. Besides 2017, but we'll forget about that. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.